Hi, I'm David Elder, and today on Elder Eats, I'm taking you guys inside of a burger place, a donut shop, a Greek restaurant, and a Korean-Mexican fusion restaurant. On today's show... I'm not a pork and knife kind of guy. I'm taking you inside the newest donut shop in SA. This place is messy. Plus, we're traveling to San Marcos, Texas for a new Korean-Mexican fusion restaurant. All that, plus a trip to the Mediterranean, and a burger chain that's using Wagyu beef patties. So grab a fork and grab a knife. This is Elder Eats. First stop on today's show is at the iconic San Antonio Riverwalk in downtown SA. Let's go inside the newest donut shop in the Alamo City, Gordo's Public House. Gordo's Public House started out of a vintage Airstream in Austin, Texas back in 2009. We're all about excessive, huge donuts and just like to have a lot of fun with it. Now, they're bringing their indulgent donuts to the Alamo City, like their Southern Clucker, a donut stacked with a red potato pancake, the double breaded fried chicken breast, and topped with a whole pan of cream corn. <laughs> If you're really hungry, I'm talking next level hungry, you get the country clucker. Look at this thing. You got candy jalapenos, you got cream corn, you have a potato pancake, you got fried chicken, and you got a donut on there. That looks good, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna, I'm gonna be able to eat this thing, but I'm gonna try. Oh, man. This is life changing. This is like a new religion that you just found and you're like, I'm converted. This is phenomenal. You got those red potatoes in there, still a little rustic. You got the skin on there, so it's great texture. That fried chicken is bomb. I mean, you don't, you might not want to come out to a donut place to get fried chicken, but you should, and you better, because this is where it's at. Awesome on the menu. I'm excited. A donut tribute to Selena. <music> the Bitty Bitty Bon Bon Donut made with purple icing, purple sprinkles, edible pearls, and of course, Bonbons. Well, some say they do anything for Selena, and they're doing it out here at Gordo's. Look at that. That's the bitty bitty bonbon. And they got little bonbons on there. They got the icing, has a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of sugar, purple sprinkles. Oh, so. This is like a souped up churro. Over the top. Wow. That makes me want to like. Feet are moving too, you just can't see it, I swear. For chocolate lovers, they have a chocolate lover's dream donut that's stuffed with brownie batter and topped with chocolate icing, brownie bites, chocolate chips, and chocolate sauce. And if you love chocolate, and I'm not talking about kinda, you need like really love chocolate, look at this one. This is like the chocolatiest donut in the world. This is what chocolate lovers have dreamed about. That's just chocolate on chocolate, baby, right there. This place is messy. <laughs> that was a lot of chocolate. This thing is amazing. For those who like CBD, they got you covered. Their super baked donut has CBD infused icing, plus brownie bites, cookie dough, graham crackers, marshmallow cream, chocolate sauce, and potato chips. And they gave me a fork and knife, but I'm not a fork and knife kind of guy. Oh, y'all are crazy. <laughs> My only way of describing it is it's like a super compact, delicious funnel cake, and it's covered with just everything you on the on the whole planet. I mean, there's really nothing else. Look at chocolate just oozing off the side of this thing. Gordo's is amazing. Sup? A new reason for locals to continue visiting the Riverwalk on a daily basis. Well, you guys gotta come out here. Gordo's is opening up this Saturday here on the Riverwalk and just look at all these delicious creations. And there's a lot more on the menu, I'm telling you. There's burgers, there's crazy stuff. There's fried chicken sitting on a donut. What, that's what's happening out here. Come on out here, Gordo's is opening. We're gonna have a big event and you can come get one of these donuts. Come get the Selena donut. Now, we're going to the west side to get an authentic taste of the Mediterranean at Mina and Demi's Greek House. This 
popular Greek restaurant opened its doors in San Antonio back in 1993. Been visiting the restaurant over 20 years. Bye, ladies. Thank you. After working with the owners for 25 years, Chef Chandula took over the business. Oh, I love to cook, and it's something that it takes a lot of commitment. The Greek restaurant makes everything from scratch. We'll start off with pickled grape leaves. Like their hand-rolled pickled grape leaf dolmas that are stuffed with a lamb beef blend and seasonings. That looks really good. After they're stuffed, they get boiled and ready to serve. Everything made fresh in-house. We just saw it all get made right now. I'm going to try maybe all of them. <laughs> Oh wow, the inside has a really great texture. The sauce that's on there is insane. You put that on anything, it's gonna be delicious. This is fantastic. You're gonna end up eating like 20 of these and not know what happened. You're gonna lose track of time. And the restaurant serves up huge plates of their grilled marinated meats. This massive plate of food is called the Hercules. They also have a flaming cheese plate. Perfect for date night. Very hot. Be very careful, okay? But if you're not feeling that hungry, they offer traditional euros served with feta cheese fries. Everything is made with love. It's incredible. And it's a Greek restaurant, so you know you come out, you get these huge euros, and you can get chicken, they have some beef as well, and they also have the euro meat, which I'm going for on this one. Let's try the fries first here. Cheese on fries, but it's making it Greek and it's doing it so very well. This is next level delicious. The flavors are so intense. This is a big old Euro sandwich. Wow. Freshly cut meat. It's a seasoning. It's everything. It's just perfect. And for dessert, Mina and Dimi's Greek house makes a baklava cheesecake that is quite possibly the best cheesecake dessert in San Antonio. Check this out. It is a baklava cheesecake. That just sounds amazing, right? You got that nice crust of filo dough on top that they've made just like baklava has, and that huge slice of cheesecake. I want it all. There we go. This is amazing. It's so rich and creamy and the orange flavor that's on there. This is really, really good. Mina and Dini's makes a wide variety of Greek favorites. All delicious and all made fresh. What separates us is the detail. You can come back any day and it, it will taste the same. Bye guys, thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> and when you come to grab a bite, make sure you come early because this place gets packed. I'll give you 10 hugs just because the food is that good. <laughs> Coming up, I'm taking you inside a San Marcos Korean Mexican fusion spot making huge burritos. This is like next level tasty. Plus, later in the show, I'm taking you to a burger spot that's using Wagyu beef patties. This is delicious. So stay tuned right here on Elder Eats.